Apparently, uh, I'm some fucking YouTuber now who makes uh, Cinema 4 D videos. <laughs> so, someone asked me how I made the text uh, retypoed retype like this. Um, it's really quick and easy. I'll show you my like quick and dirty method, but it works. Um, so, we'll put in text and we'll use the MoGraph text. Bloody hell. Um, and then you type in your text. And we'll do your mum. And then make it editable. And then we're going to throw in a connect. And we take all of the letters and put them in the connect. Just to join everything together and then get rid of the text null. Make it editable again. Delete all of the selections because we don't need them. And delete the font. You can put it in later if you want. And then we're going to use the remesh. We're going to use the Z remesher. Because um, Cinema 4D has now bought ZBrush. So now we can use the Z remesher because before it was just instant mesh, which is shit. So we use a Z remesher. Put the. Uh, Make the text child of it, and then turn the mesh up to like 2,000, um, and you get pretty clean retypography with that. Um, so, so looking like this is good probably for cloth simulations, but if you want to go mad, then you can just turn it up. That's not that bad. And then additionally, if you want even more then you can add in a sub um, subdivision surface but then then your simulation probably isn't even going to run but that's how I get my text retypographied for uh, cloth simulations you can also do it with logos um, and uh, SV no not SVGs is it it's it, illustrator files so when you you can upload illustrator files and then use a, um, a mo extrude to then create logos and stuff from those Illustrator files. Or maybe it is SVGs. Alright, bye.